Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. I've come out with some stinking cute new merchandise in different styles and colors. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below. So what have I got going on for you for today? It is just about November, which means it is almost my little Allie's birthday. And that means that it is time for me now to start prepping for her birthday and getting stuff together for her party. This year, she wants an LOL doll party. And so that is what she's getting. And so a lot of this party, I need to DIY. And so along with DIYing this party, she has some special requests for things that she likes at her party one of which are edible cups with a smoothie in them. This is such a fun addition to any get together. It makes for a great addition to a kid's birthday party, even a baby shower or wedding shower, a bridal shower. This is just a fun addition that leaves people talking about it and they just see it and think that it is just the stinking cutest thing that they've ever saw. And so that is what I'm gonna be showing you today is how I make an edible cup for Allie's birthday. This is so easy and so budget friendly. I cannot wait to bring it to you. So let's jump into this and let me show you how easy it is to make an edible cup. For these edible cups, I will be using this one pound bag of these bright green candy chocolate melts by Coco Maker. I'll also be using these candy melts by Wilton and these cups that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. For edible cups, I'm gonna use a couple of these plastic glasses that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start off by taking my scissors and I'm gonna cut a slit in my glass. It doesn't need to go all the way down. Using some blue painter's tape, you can also get this at the Dollar Tree by Toolbench. I'm gonna take my blue painter's tape and I'm gonna put the tape right along the slit. closing up the slit. For today's edible cups, I will be using this Cocoa Maker chocolate. This is a vanilla flavored chocolate. It's colored, it comes in a one pound bag. You can get this Cocoa Maker brand at Walmart for $1.96 a bag. I'll also be using these confetti candy melts by Walton. You can find this at Walmart as well, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. And when they're on sale, you can get them for about $1.50 a bag. There's really no difference. It really is just preference. Allie liked this bright green, so that's what we're doing today. I've got myself a Pyrex glass bowl. I'm gonna empty my chocolate into my bowl. And I'm gonna use about a half a bag for these three cups. You can melt this chocolate one of two ways. You can use the double broiler method where you place your bowl inside of a pot with water and melt it that way, or you can place it in the microwave like I'm gonna do today, and I'm gonna do it in 30 second increments until it's melted because I don't want my chocolate to burn. If it burns, you'll see that dry, crumbly texture to the chocolate, and that means it's been overcooked. And from time to time in the microwave, you'll get hot spots in different areas of your food, so you do wanna stir this after each 30 second increment. We're gonna stir this, and you can tell these are gonna be, need to put in the microwave again for 30 seconds. We're just stirring this up to even out the heat so there's not any hot spots in this chocolate. I'm gonna give this a stir again for the second time and you can see that it's really starting to melt now. I'm gonna continue this until my chocolate is good and melted and nice and smooth. My chocolate is nice and melted and smooth. 
Now we've gotta work a bit fast because this is gonna harden pretty quickly. Now I'm gonna take my plastic cups that I made a slit in and I'm gonna take a wood popsicle stick and I'm gonna place some chocolate on the inside of my cup. Just kind of smearing it around. When coating your cups with the chocolate melt, you really want to make sure and get a nice thick coat inside these cups. We are not looking for perfection. You don't need it to be perfectly neat. What you want to do is you want to make sure that if this is something you're going to put a smoothie or a drink in, you really want that thick coating because you don't want it to leak. I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes to let the chocolate harden. And we're going to see if we need to do a second coat. My chocolate is hardened and I do see that there are a couple light spots in here. So I'm going to go over them just a bit with more chocolate. I've rewarmed my chocolate and I'm just going to put it in some of the light areas here. The second coat is completely hardened. Now let's take this cup apart. And would you look at how stinking cool that is? Isn't that just the coolest thing? Let me show you what I do to these cups next because I'm gonna finish off the top of these cups, giving them a more finished look. Using the confetti candy melts and a Ziploc baggie, I'm gonna place some of my candy melts inside my bag. I'm gonna seal up my bag, taking out as much as the air as I can. I'm gonna place this bag of candy melts in the microwave in increments of 30 seconds again to melt my chocolates. Since I can't stir this with the stick after I've microwaved it, I'm just gonna mush it around. And I'm gonna place it in the microwave for another 30 seconds until it's melted. For the ones in the bag here, I didn't want to melt my chocolate so much so that it was really runny. I wanted it to be on the thicker side and so I didn't completely melt this as much as I did the first set of chocolate melts that I used to coat my cups with. I'm going to open up the corner of my bag and I'm going to get the air out of it as much as possible. And I'm going to move my chocolate melts to the corner of my Ziploc baggie, giving me a piping bag. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm gonna snip off the tip of my bag, which is the corner of my bag. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my camera shut off and so I took what I did off of this cup to show you. I thought it was recording and shame on me again, I need new batteries, it shut off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my candy melt in my piping bag and I'm gonna place it along the rim of my cup. And that's why I wanted a thicker candy melt because I don't want the chocolate running down the sides of the cup. And by coating the top of this cup, it's gonna cover up all of the imperfections that the cup has when I coated it. Again, I'm gonna place this back in the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes to let the top harden. And to top off these edible cups, I will be filling them with Allie's favorite smoothie ever from Jamba Juice, and it is Orange Dream Machine. This is a pack that you can get at Walmart, just about any grocery store carries them. It's as easy as just placing the contents of the bag in your blender and adding the one cup of apple juice. And would you look at that, just as quick as that was, we've got ourselves an orange dream smoothie from Jamba Juice to fill these edible cups with. One eight ounce package of Jamba Juice's orange dream that you can get at the store will fill up three of these cups. We can't forget the whipped cream. How about some fun sprinkles to go on top? 
and we'll finish these off with some adorable straws. How stinking cute are these? These are such a fun addition to any party and I tell you, it is something that will leave people talking about them. And how stinking cute and cool are these edible cups? It doesn't get any cooler than that. And these are a piece that are definitely going to leave people talking, wanting to know how you made them. And when you tell them how easy it is, I tell you, all of your friends are gonna be making them. There are times during the year when Allie will ask me if I'll make her a smoothie in an edible cup. And it's like, how can you not make it? They are just so fun to make. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. Bye.